going to make Van the Valentine Gnome. He is so cute. And again, I used a sweater. I'm going to show you how I did his hat um, to get it to stand up. And I'm going to show you the what I like to use and how I like to make some of my bows. And then these ones up here, I really like these ones. If you can call it a bow. Um, and then I'm going to show you how I did his shoes and it's all one piece from the sweater it's not layering and doing strips or anything like that and then i'll show you how i did his arms um and i'll give you some tips along the way i'll show you how to do the pom-pom so if you want to know how to make van just stay tuned and i'll be right back with the supply list okay so let's go over the supply list it looks like a lot here but there's a lot more you're gonna need i use gray fleece for the main part of the body a styrofoam cone is going to be what holds up the more the most what holds up most of his hat and this is a five by six inch and i got these um i think i got these i may have gotten them at hobby lobby or i could have gotten them at hobby lobby um or the dollar tree or Walmart either place I think Joann's has them too they have different sizes um, you're gonna need some ribbon some embroidery floss some jute a sock for the body and also either a piece of cardboard or a canning lid um, for his sleeves you're gonna need more of the gray fleece and I will have the size and, and the what you're going to need the the material list in the description box right below this video for his arms you're going to also need some uh pipe cleaners and for his arms i have two of them you're going to need um a couple of beads and then i'm going to show you how um if your sweater and this is my sweater if i pull it apart you're like able to see that so when you stretch it you can see what's underneath so i'm going to show you how to take care of that you're going to need rice some stuffing some nuts for to weight our shoes down these are baby shoes um party favors from dollar tree um faux fur for the beard and then another piece for the pom-pom a nose so you can use the jet set knit nude in nude color fabric from joann's so it's nice and stretchy and that's how i usually like to make my noses you can use these and i got these it's like the felted balls it was a garland that i got at um walmart after christmas and i don't remember what i paid for the box probably like three dollars or something like that and there was so many of them on here that and then you can just take some blush or some um, of your makeup and color it so it looks like that um, blush colored and let me take a quick break and I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to show you the embellishments you're going to need I'll be right back okay so and when you're, you're going to need a sweater I have that one it's all cut up so I can't really show you um I have this other one so I've found these at the thrift stores you guys and those are the kind of sweaters I like because they make such pretty gnomes and um I have another video coming up um another valentine gnome couple and I'm using this sweater so there again very pretty I've looked at the goodwill um I have a few other of local thrift stores in my town so I have gotten some of this stuff at Hobby Lobby and some at Dollar Tree. So you can use foam stickers to embellish the hat. And I'm trying to get so you can see him. And you can use, these hearts are from Hobby Lobby um, buttons. You can definitely use buttons and I do use those. Um, these are glitter and they have the shank so I would cut the shank off all kinds of foam stickers you can use more foam stickers um, I use some of these flowers 
on my hats a lot and I get all of these from um, Walmart. They have a great selection of colors too. And then you're going to need, or you don't have to, but I get these little stamens from Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. That's another great place to look for a lot of these really pretty flowers. They have some smaller ones and some, you can use these if you want to cut the stick off and glue it onto the hat. Um, these two, I used two of these and glued them on top. So I did the heart there. And then um, I used a variety of, I'm going to get you so you can see this. I used a variety of buttons that I've tied off with embroidery floss. Um, this bead trim, these rose flowers. Other flowers, I have all these ones. I'm going to use some of these today. These are from Hobby Lobby. These ones were, I got at a rummage sale. And I'm going to show you how to do, how I took this flower and took it apart and made it so it was flatter. So let me clean this up and get, and get my main stuff so we can get started on the main part of the body. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back after filming or after not filming and making this whole thing and went to check to see if you guys could see and it wasn't filming this whole thing in the nose. So now I'm going to do that over again and show you. So what we're going to do first, you're going to take your sock and we need to glue this to the sock and then we need to glue the sock to that fleece so that when we do his shoes and glue them on, they don't pull away. Because if this is not glued, it's going to pull away and it won't stand up very well. So you're going to turn this sock right side or inside out. You're going to take and put hot glue. Make sure you get it in that center. And I use, um, for the most part, I use a low temp. And then glue that on there. Take this. And I got my thumbs in like this and turn that and you got to do it quick so that glue doesn't dry. You have to make sure this is smooth. Okay. Now we're going to take our rice again. It's a good thing I checked when I did because if I wouldn't have, I would have gone through the whole video and it's like, oh, I'm trying to get it out. Um, because today, oh, today is, was it the 16th? And so now we have our rice in there and we're going to stuff it. And the fatter you stuff it or the more stuffing you put in. And if I were to push down like this, I mean, I could get a pretty fat gnome. These socks from the Dollar Tree stretch. Some are better than others. So it depends on how big of a gnome you want. And I'm kind of limited on my fabric because I'm running out of my gray fleece. So um, I have to not make him really huge. And then I'm going to stuff it all the way to the top here, but we're going to probably end up taking that out when we put the cone on. Okay, so now we have to glue it in the middle here. So first set it. And make sure you have enough to get all this up, okay? And so I'm going to put glue. I'm going to put it on my sock, actually. And I'm going to go all around. And I'm going to make sure I get it in that middle part. So all that is glued. And then stick it down. And then turn it over and rub it. Make sure it's all nice and smooth so it's not lumpy and bumpy. And then get your crochet thread ready. I get mine is pretty long and then I double it. So then you're going to grab these. Grab your four corners. And then you're going to grab these pockets. I'm just going to make a take a quick gander at my camera and make sure I'm filming. Okay, 
And I'm trying not to make a long video. I know people say, don't worry about it, but I do. And I could have moved this over a little bit more. So now I'm going to take this. And the heel of the sock is his face. So I grab all of this. I wrap this around. And then I bring it to the back like this. And this is when I start gathering or pulling. But I have to make sure I have all of this material in before I go and tie it. Normally I would have enough and I wouldn't do that. But like I said, I'm running really low. I don't hardly have any of this left. So then you're gonna do, your surgeon's knot is three loops normally. And then you tighten it and that just secures your knot really really well so when you wrap that around the first time and you're going to tie it do your surgeon's knot just loop it like three times and then pull it and then it will secure that and now you're going to go around and you're going to make sure that all of these gathers are Nice and even, cut your excess thread off. And if you have to use your needle nose pliers to pull that, I use these all the time. And I do have, I wanted to get it out today, I think is, oh, let's see, the January 16th. And I wanted to get my video uploaded of my giveaway because I have the stuff it's just me finding the time to do it. And so make sure it looks pretty uniform. And we're going to cut this. I usually start cutting in the back. And I just cut all the way around. This can be used for his arms. It can be used for hands. Um, whatever you want to use it for. And then you're going to look... Make sure all these gathers are at least a half inch above that thread, okay? Because if they're not, and you go and pull on this, it's going to um, come undone. So now what I would do is just trim all this off that I'm not going to need. And if you want to cut your arms from this, we can probably just lay two of these together. And trim this off. The other ones I'm, I have used, those are probably kind of skinny, but you could probably, yeah, they're probably small. But I would still keep this for scraps. So I have cut arms from the first time I just made this, just a few minutes ago. And so now I'm going to do the nose. So we have all this glued. And the nose is that Jet Set Nude fabric. And it is a stretch knit, so it's really nice. I've used this for probably four years for my noses. And then you're going to get your stuffing. So I take and lay this over my hand so I have my fingers like this. And then I'm when I start stuffing between my finger and thumb, I start grabbing... And holding on to this so I have like a pocket and then I just poke it in so I have it like that okay that might be a lot for a nose so I'm going to take out a little bit and then you're gonna grab this grab all of that take your thread and you're gonna wrap it around wrap it around once and you're gonna pull those so they're tight and then you're going to wrap whatever one is longer, wrap it around about two, three more times and pull it again. And you can let it sit and it's not going to come undone. It's not gonna. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you like these kind of videos, click that like button. And if you want to know more on different ways to make gnomes, tips. If you, you like 
the content, let me know, leave a comment. Um, if you want to see more of these videos and be notified, you must be a subscriber. So you click that subscribe button right below. And then if you click on the bell over there, down here, then you will be notified. But you must have um, your notifications turned on in your settings on your computer or your phone to be notified. And then when I do my giveaway, you're gonna have to be a visual subscriber. And I'm gonna link a video below on how you can do that and what you must do to be a visual subscriber. Okay, so we have his nose and I've got this one here and I got this one. So I got two of them now. And so what I did was I, and I didn't even, I, just, I put my thread over here and I put my, this fabric and then I cut it off about a quarter of an inch from that thread that we wrapped around. And now we're going to put this on and I usually tie it around where that other one is tied. And since one string is not as long, I'm just going to wrap it around the front and then do my surgeon's knot and then pull that nice and tight and then just knot it again. And if your knot's in the front, it's not gonna be seen cause the hat's gonna be on, that sort of thing. So there is our gnome. Um, I'm gonna use this one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make his arms and I've got one done already. And you're going to need a wooden ball and I have to make sure I get the right size. That would be nice. You're going to need a pipe cleaner and what you're going to do with your pipe cleaner is you're going to twist two of them together and I've already started it and this would probably be enough for two arms and one plus one more and you're going to twist that all the way down so then it makes your arms bendable and then you're going to cut it probably you can probably cut it longer if you want to cut it like at four inches And then we're going to take a little bit of glue. Let me get you closer. Make sure my camera's going. I'm not the best filmer. I, I know there's other people, they have people that do it for them. Well, I don't. So I put a little bit of glue in that bead and poked my pipe cleaner in and I'll show you again so I just put a little bit bead of glue on on the top and it's twisted together and I poke it in the hole but I don't come through all the way okay so we'll let that one I'll use that on another project so now what you're going to do is you want oh we got to cover the arm we got to cover this first <laughs> That would have been a tragedy. So what you're gonna do, because you can see through this, so if I were to stretch this over, you can see that, okay? So what I did was, I have, and I believe these were, this was a scarf that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna use it on one of my other gnomes coming up <clears throat> so you're gonna cut a piece of this because you don't want anything really thick but I'm kind of using because my sweater is red and kind of black so I'm using black I'm gonna kind of do is cut this down a little bit and you want it almost the same size and then you're going to take put that together you're gonna get our thread So I would get a decent amount and put it on there 
and then grab it just like we do the noses. You're going to take one part and hang on to it right here. And you're going to wrap right around where this ball is and where that pipe cleaner goes in. And you're going to pull that so you got to have very strong thread. And then you're going to cut some excess off. And then you're going to knot it. I almost lost it and then tie that just I do one knot and then I tie it really pull it really tight and then cut that but leave don't cut really close to the knot that'll get tucked in our sleeve and because this is so messy um, I'm gonna grab a napkin because this sweater goes everywhere you can see it it's already on my table so I'm gonna cut this excess sweater off that this here because we don't need all that bulk in the sleeve as long as you don't get too sh too close to the sleeve So now you're going to take your sleeve, and there's probably one side that is the right side. So I take, figure out where this is going to go, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to run glue along the edge, and then this edge where the hand is going to be. So right there, and you're going to put this, so most of that is inside that sleeve and then press that pipe cleaner down to that glue and then you're just going to roll it so try to get that in there and then tuck that in and then hold this down you're going to run a bead of glue right under there and then roll it over and then we can let that dry and then once it's dry, you can clip and try to do a nice straight seam. Clip that excess and everything is glued in there. I don't like that part of this is glued. Because I don't want to glue it as I'm uh, like by the pipe cleaner because I don't want it has it won't look like an arm. It's going to be all glued together. So we're going to let that sit and dry. And let's do his shoes. So what I did was, this is how the, the party shoe, the baby um, party shoe favors come. I'll get you a little closer. And they come hollowed. I took my rice, I put some rice in here, and then I put glue right on here in this whole thing. And let me get some and I'll show you. And then I need some cardboard. So then I took, and try not to touch the, the rice with your glue gun. Just try to let that glue fall along the edge. And even you can put it on the rice. And then you're going to take and put that on some cardboard and press it down even if the glue squeezes out that's okay we're going to cut it off then you're going to let it sit and then you're going to cut it so while that's sitting what i did next because remember our fabric my sweater is kind of see-through and when i put it on if i pull it tight you can see my shoe through okay so that's why i painted it So once this is dry, you can cut most of this off. And you could use cereal box too if you wanted. So 
So then I cut most of it off and I kind of flip it upside down and I run the edge of my scissors along the edge of the shoe and cut that off. And that's how we do the sole of his shoe because you need a little bit of weight in here and then we're going to put weights in there. So we have those done. So I would paint both of them and you don't have to get it completely covered if it's I mean you can see mine is not okay and that's good enough because it's gonna hide um and I already have one shoe done so now you're gonna take your sweater and I'll okay so you're gonna take and you're gonna make sure because I have my stitching on this shoe coming this way I got glue so that's how that the sweater so I want to make sure they're both the same way so you're gonna take and put a little bit of glue it doesn't have to be a lot on that sweater and I would put it like in the middle make sure you have enough to pull up the back and the front so you're gonna glue this front and I could have used probably a little bit more and then you're going to glue the back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take, this is how you can do your shoe and not have to do the sole and the sides and then run a strip. You can still run that strip around the base and I'll, I'll just show you I didn't do it on mine. Now I'm going to pull all this side up. Because I put glue right along that side so it's kind of gathered. And then if I got this little pocket here, I'm going to put some glue in there and just pull that up and press it. So what I did... Was I put the glue right here. I just wanted to make sure I was filming. And then I pull that up and press it. And then I'm going to take, I have to see what, I use like this velvet ribbon. So you're going to cut this excess off, but leave a little bit so it's kind of like a ruffle. I mean, if you're worried about it fraying and getting all over the place, you can tuck it in, but I didn't tuck it in. I just left it. So now you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to wrap it around the front and then just tie a knot. You can cut it. And I have no idea where I got this ribbon, but I'm going to look. I have to go into town. I'm going to look and see if the Hobby Lobby has any. Because I don't, I really like it. So I would just do that and I just tied it. I didn't tie it in a bowl. So you just got to make sure because the velvet's on one side and the other side is um, not. So you got to make sure when you're tying that knot that you're kind of twisting that ribbon so that the velvet shows. And then you can cut your excess off. And then if you want to, we'll put a little heart on the front. And then you're going to take and take two of your weights. These, I'm not sure if they're like a half inch nut. Um, it fits into these shoes perfectly. So put some glue. And you're going to drop that in and make sure you get it in straight. And I'm just going to take something and get it down in there. And then you're going to put glue on top of that one. And then you're going to put another nut in. And then make sure that is straight down. Now what I did with this one, because I wanted it kind of even, was I just took a few pieces of felt and I'm going to put glue on there. 
and I just cut a couple little pieces just to kind of fill that up at the top. And then I'm going to take and cut a little circle. And then if I have to clip some of these off or just tuck them in. And then you're going to put glue on that. And then put that circle on. So then that covers up your nut and it makes everything a little bit more even. And okay, let me clean up and then we'll go. We're going to start working on the hat and we'll do the beard. Okay, so we're going to do the beard and I already cut it when I was not filming. So I'm just going to cut a tiny strip. You're going to put, you're going to use small scissors and you're going to get your blade underneath between the fur and the backing and you're just going to cut the backing. So you're going to kind of slide your scissors in there a little bit and just start clipping. Don't go like this. You'll cut the fur and you don't want to cut the fur. So I try to get my scissors in there and just, and you can hear it, just cut that backing and it pulls it off. Okay. So I cut his beard and I'm just going to kind of take these corners off. So there again, I put my scissors in and I'm going to take that corner off. And then I'm going to see if I need to, and then we're going to take and cut this, the a U shape out for his nose. And then you're going to see, make sure, so it's nice, it's a good length. So it depends on how tall your gnome is, how much of a beard you want. So now what I'm going to do is glue, put glue right where that, underneath that U, pull his nose up, and I want those gathers, if you can see them, underneath the beard. And then you're going to glue these tabs down, and you're going to tuck that right alongside the nose. And try not to drip on your nose, your glue gun, because it'll ruin it. And let that dry. And now for, well, we're going to work on the hat, arms, and the feet right now. So for the hat, I cut a sleeve. I cut one of the sleeves off, and I sewed it. So I sewed all the way up here. If you're going to hot glue it, let me cut this off. And I'm going to show you. So let's say this was our hat and move this over here, move him over there. And you're just going to take and run a bead of glue just like that and press it and then open it up to find where you stopped and run that bead of glue. And you're going to have to let that dry really well before you go to turn it inside out. So press that down so you know you have that glue. And by using hot glue, it gets it to be, the seam is going to be stiffer. Okay? But I sewed mine, so that's how you can hot glue it. So now I have this one. And I got some threads here. And if you have a point up here where your point is, make sure you cut any of that excess off. And then turn this right side out. And then poke it so you're So pointing. now I'm going to make sure that this fits my gnome. And if you're when you're looking for your sweaters, Take the sleeves and stretch them. If you can't stretch it, it's not going to probably work for a gnome hat. And we're going to take some of this out because this is going to actually go over our cone. So, and I can see that my cone, it's going to be big enough. And we're going to need to put some stuffing in the top here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to set that aside. We're going to cut our cone. And I got a serrated knife. And I'm just going to go in at an angle. And you want to just cut the middle part out. Try not to go through. And then you can cut that middle and then you're probably able to dig it out of there and I got a paper plate so it's catching all my stuff I'm cutting out here so I'm making it a little bit bigger because I want my hole a little deeper And you could do this with little tiny um, cones too. Your gnome body is just going to be smaller. Okay, so now we want to unstuff this. And then that's going to go right inside our sock. Actually, I'm going to lie, I'm going to stuff it a little bit. And then I'm going to tie that off. So just so it gives us something to glue that styrofoam cone to. And you can try it before you glue that on. And I'm going to just cut a little bit of the sock off here. So now, make sure you got an extra glue stick. Mine's running out. Is you're going to put glue in the cone. And if you had a bigger glue gun, you could use that for this. Um, so I would get it in that cone. And then if you get it on the outside here, on this the little ledge here. And it's kind of hard when you put a new glue stick in. Okay, and now you're going to take it, and there is kind of a seam, but it doesn't really matter. You make sure all of that gets in there, and that you're going to push that down, even if you have to push his body, and you're going to hold it. It might take a little bit, but you're going to hold it. So there's our gnome had, head hat. So now we're going to um, put his arms on. And you're going to want this seam side. I've got this one so it's going to face down. And this seam is going to face back. And the other one I didn't get so lucky. So it's not going to matter. Um, and so I'm going to put, let's see how long his arms. I'm going to cut his arms shorter. And then I'm going to put glue inside here and glue that shut. And I'm going to do the same to this one, is cut it shorter. And then I usually glue it right on the side here. And we have to glue our arms on before we glue our hat. And then press those down and make sure they're going to stay. And then while that's setting, we'll try our hat on. And make sure you got the seam to the back. Oh, well, you know what we're going to do. To stuff this. So if I put stuffing in here, like anything else with this video, we're going to see it. So what I did was I kept, and I actually made some scraps from some scrap pieces of fleece I had. And I'm going to cut those up and I'm going to shove them up 
You could use red or you could use black. Anything that's going to match your sweater if you're going to see that stuffing. And then you're going to have to see if you have how much you have to stuff it. So we're going to try this on. So you're going to... Let me get you guys. I hope... Okay, I got to back you up. Hopefully you didn't miss part of the video what I was doing. <clears throat> so you're going to take your sweater... And you're going to open it up and gather it and put it on. And then we're going to see. And you know what? You can see my cone through the fabric. So what we're going to do now, and I think I did this. Um, I'm just going to wrap. Some red felt around here actually I got black so give me just a minute to figure this out and I'll be right back okay I'm back so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a pattern for this gnome because we need something to cover up this cone so you don't see the white through the hat so you're gonna take the tip up here and you're going to place it on the edge of your fleece. And you're just going to kind of, I, you're going to kind of watch. And if you want to start cutting it when you're rolling it. So you can cut this up there. And let me see if you can see. So as I'm rolling it, I'm going to try to cut. And his arms are going to kind of get in the way a little bit. So I'm going to go just like that. Okay. So I started here and I rolled him and then I cut it as I was rolling it. If you do it before you stick it on, you can do it just with the cone and not the whole gnome. So now we're going to take and put this on and we're going to glue it to the styrofoam cone in the back. So get, run a bead of glue there and press that down. And then you can come over here and go right along there and make sure that you're pulling this so it's nice and flat and then drape pull that back and like I said I'm using a low temp glue gun my um, glue gun that I have that I use is a gorilla glue gun and that it's a mini one and that is going to be in my giveaway I have got a lot of stuff in that giveaway and some of some of my favorite tools. And now when we come to this part, we can just cut this excess off and glue that on. So if your sweater is not like mine is you don't see things. I mean, it's really a thick sweater. You don't have to worry about doing this step. So now we have that. And we could put some up here around the tip, too. So we don't want that to come undone when we go to put the hat on. Okay. So now we're going to take our hat again. And we have still have that stuffing up there. And I got the, wrong, I got the seam in the front. So make sure your seam's in the back. And I like it to come over his nose, over his arms, and that is perfect. You can't see, you can't see the cone. Awesome idea. Okay, so here's the hat that we glued. This little thing here. And I'm just going to try to cut some of this excess off and make it more of a mess. So now we're going to see how this glued. It's hard with this fabric 
to get the inside to get it right side out because when you go to poke through it you're poking through with your pliers and everything goes just goes through the um so there's probably not going to be a big tip on here but it did work so you can see there's no glue so it worked out really well and I get my glue sticks, they're going to be in my giveaway, is, um, I think they're the AdTech Clear, AdTech Clear mini glue sticks that I get from Amazon. And there's going to be some of those in there. So I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to get, today is, while I'm filming this, I'm going to try to get this video out on him today, is January 16th. And I wanted to do my giveaway today and get that done, but I don't think I'm going to get it um, uploaded today. Okay, so we can, we have his beard, we have his arms on, so we're going to glue his hat on since we got it on. So we're going to flip this back part up and my glue gun is a little drippy. And I always put the glue on the hat. And I kind of get it right to that edge and then get your fingers in there and push that down and then press it. And then we can come and do the same with the nose. This I'm going to put it on the nose because if I don't get it, if I don't get this sweater with the glue on it where I want a nose, I pull it back, then it's all messed up. Then get your fur, your beard out of the way and tip that up and put that glue on that sweater and get that down. And do the same to the other side and press that down and let that dry. I just have where this glue got a little out of control by his arm there. Okay, so let's glue his shoes on. So I put them right next to each other and see where I need him to be glued. So it's kind of toward the back. It's going to be right in this area. And this was the first body I did, and I forgot to glue the base like I showed you guys. So I had to slit it and glue it, and then I covered it up with the piece. So you're not even going to see it. So if you want your shoes pointing out, do that before you glue it. Put some glue on that middle part. So that's another reason why we put that, the little bit of uh, fleece and that round circle so we have something to put this glue on. And make sure you have all your fuzzies and stuff off the bottom. And then you're going to set him down, make sure both of his shoes are underneath, and we're going to let it sit there. Okay, I'm back. So when I went and took my little break and looked at my gnome, it was all sunk in right here. And I don't like that. So I quickly ripped it up. I am taking some scraps of fleece. And I'm going to fold it and I'm going to tuck it in here and glue it in there so that it fills in that space because I don't like that. So I'm just going to kind of glue those together. And then I'm just going to take and put glue. I'm going to be very careful. And I'm going to just tuck that right in there. And then I'm going to ha probably have to trim some of this fur off of his hat. It should be okay. It'll blend in with her. So now I can go back and glue that on his nose. And then glue these sides. Tuck that black up. 
We're running out of a glue stick. So if you have to take and push that up there and then tuck or pull that hat down and glue it back down. And you might have to hold it. Okay, and his feet are all dry and he stands up pretty good. So now what I did when I decorated this, I had a rose and I took it apart and I flattened it so it would not um, stick out so much. So I took it apart and I glued it and I'm going to glue that on his hat. I'm going to do this side. So it's going to be kind of up in the middle. So what you do is just take your petals and let me make sure I can get you guys close enough. Okay, my phone stopped. So I had showed you how to, was showing you how to glue this petal, this flower here. And I thought I should check my, fan, my camera and see if I'm filming. And of course I wasn't. And so I just took it apart. There's a middle part that comes out and I, oh, I don't remember where I got these at. If I got them at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. So I'm just gonna glue one petal and I'm gonna stagger the petals so these petals are offset. And then take the other one and glue that. And this is just making the flower so it's flatter. And then you can take the middle apart and glue the middle because this middle is smaller. So put a little bit of glue in there and then glue that. And then I glued another flower in the middle of that, um, which was these ones. So that's how I glued it, okay? So I'm just gonna let you watch me decorate this hat and then at the end I will go over how I did everything, what I used. to make. I'm going to set him down there. I usually take embroidery floss and I'll take jute and ribbon. So I'm going to take and take a good amount. Sometimes I take one of each color. Sometimes I'll take um, like two of the dominant color. And then I'm going to take another one of red and then possibly white. So I do this, I do this on probably almost all my gnomes now is I really like the look of the different colors using the colors that 
um, bring out the colors in my project. And I have a Valentine bouquet coming up and it is going to be awesome. I have, I know what I want to do and it's going to be really pretty. And it's going to be something you're going to be able to use for different holidays. Okay, I'm looking for my jute that I had. What we got to do is pom pom. Here it is. Okay, so I took some jute <clears throat> and put some jute in here. And I'll do a couple of the jute. So this is how I'm going to make the bow on his hat. Not with all of this. So like this bow, that's what I'm doing. And let me get my camera so that I know you guys can see. So we're going to set him over there. So I'm just going to take and make a bow. And if I got like I got a part here that I it's in the in the wrap around is pull whichever color you think it might be. You have to find out which one it is. Why it got Okay, there we go. And I'm trying to get all my loops. Sometimes I like to hang on to my my um, bow like this with my fingers. I'm trying to pull this one smaller. So then when you get the bow the way you want it, and it doesn't take you forever, we're going to glue that right down at the bottom. And I'm going to take my blow dryer or heat gun and be very careful and try to go all over this and get rid of all these glue strings. And I'm going to glue this right down here. I'm going to move it up a little bit. And that's how I do that. If I want to do um, like I did this one, what I did, first what I got was um, some of these parts, and they could have been from Dollar Tree, I think is where I got them, but I think they have them at Hobby Lobby also. Those are two great places for your Valentine stuff. And then I just took and glued them on top of each other. They got a sticker on the back, so I took that off. And I'm going to glue the red one to the top of the pink one and just kind of offset it a little bit. And so while that's drying, I'm going to take some of this and I need some jute in there probably. And what I'm going to do is I want a big one, so I'm going to double this. And I'm going to put jute in there. And I'm going to tie it in a knot. 
I'm going to cut that off. And then poke it through. If you can't get it, if it's kind of short, but you know it's enough to use it, what I do, if I can find, is I get my tweezers, go through my hole, and then grab that and bring it up. And grab it. So then we want to cut this so it's going to stick out from behind our um, heart. So it's going to be way up here. So I'm going to glue the knot first. Or glue the knot. Yeah, glue my... I don't know, I call it a messy knot or a messy bow. It's not really a bow, but to me it is because that's kind of the way I use it a lot. And if I have to trim it after I get done, I will when I put the hearts on. So now I'm going to put the hearts just like that. And I'm going to trim the one side a little bit. Okay, let me clean up my mess and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We have to do his pom-pom. So I took a square, and it's about a three by two and a half inch square. It, I, okay, that's not a square, but usually, yeah, a two inch square, three inch square will be, or two and a half. Uh, I would do, yeah, like you could do a three inch square. And then I didn't not... I'm just using crochet thread. I'm going to try to grab all this fur so that I don't get it tangled in my thread. And you're just going to do a running stitch, big stitches. And I have a pretty heavy duty needle. See, now I got some of my fur because I wasn't paying attention. And you're going to go all the way around and try not to pull your end from the other side. And then when you get back to where you started, you're going to come and you're on the wrong side, on the back side of the fur. And then you can cut some of this excess off. And you're going to pull this. So you're making like a little bowl, like a little pocket. And then you're going to put hot glue in there. And I kind of lay him down. And I put the, the tip of his hat inside there. And then so you have, you have to have strong enough string. You're going to do... You're going to just tie it and pull it. So make sure that pom-pom and that hat, that hat is inside that pom-pom in where you put that glue. And we're going to do, we'll do a couple more knots. We'll do a surgeon's. And then you can cut those off and just take a dull rod or something and poke those ends up in there and then I would just squirt a little bit of glue and then press it and I got a big glob of glue there And that's how we do our pom-pom. You can take your blow dryer. And then that will get all those kinks. Oh, I love these pom-poms, you guys. I'm trying to get him so he stands up. And then you can bend his hat a little bit. So 
Well, let me just I'm take a quick break and, and I will be right back and we'll finish up. A little sign for the gnome that you'll see in the end pictures. So they have the wooden hearts and they have a sticker. You're going to take that off. And they have a variety. They have foam stickers, sticker wooden uh, heart stickers, wooden stickers. Um, they have these flat ones. So I'm just going to take two of them. I'm going to take this pink one. And that one I've already taken the sticker off the back. I'm going to have this wooden red one. I'm going to take the sticker off of that one. And I'm going to hot glue this right to the center of that one. And then you can pick whatever you want to put on here. This one, I did a low temp and I just did one little tiny strip of glue. And then I took a skewer and put glue on there, cut the skewer down, and it's about four inches. And then glued it. When I've glued it, I'll show you. Um, so let's get the skewer. So like I said, I cut it to about four inches. And let's get the front done. Um, so we're going to put love and I'm just going to do a little bit of glue so it doesn't melt the sticker and put that on there and then we're going to flip it over and I'm going to put a big line of glue and then I'm going to take my skewer and I'm going to roll it in that glue and then I'm going to take a little bit more I need a glue stick I wanted to insert this so in case I got any questions on it. And then you're just going to let that dry. And then you will have your two signs. I'm trying to be careful. So there's your two signs if you want to make for your gnomes. I'm back. So here are our Valentine gnomes. This is Van. So you can name yours whatever you want to. Thank you guys for joining me today and letting me share my passion and my crafts with you. I hope you try this. If you do, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you find a sweater. And I don't have a Facebook group. Um, it was just way too much for me working Facebook, YouTube. Um, yeah, so it was just way too much. Um, maybe in the future, but um, for right now, this is what I can handle. Um, so if you like my content, hit that like button. That helps me to know that you like this. You want to see more of it. It helps me um, in my channel to grow. If you aren't a subscriber, click on that like button. Click on the subscribe button down below. And then when you click on the bell, that will notify you each time I upload a new video. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you for supporting me, for joining my crafting community, being on this journey with me and letting me share my passion and my love of gnomes and crafts with you. I have quite a few other gnomes coming up. Let me show you the one that I just made last night and I am in love with him. And I haven't come up with his name yet. And I'm hopefully going to get him out. I'm going to set this guy down here. He is adorable, you guys. So I finished him up um, last night. I'm going to do different colors, like of the band and his apron. And I'm this was sewing, so there will be some sewing. I will try to do one to see if I can do one that's hot glue. I did his body, this outer part of his body different and it worked out, so it was pretty easy. And so I'm gonna go over everything and how I made him. He is adorable, you guys, he is so cute. I have some other ones coming up. I have um, a, some baby gnomes coming up. I have a skier. I have two other Valentine gnomes. I have my um, Valentine candy bouquet that I'm gonna try to get up. I'm gonna try to get the Valentine ones uploaded this week. And I'm gonna try and get this one out today. It's January 16th, so we'll see. Um, Cause I'm off work today and I'm trying to get this out to you guys. So 
Thank you for joining me, watching. Thank you for commenting. Let me know what you think of the gnomes. And if there's anything that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys and I will see you later. Bye-bye.